But tonight it's Anthony DiScofani, and he has been very, very good this year. He's made three starts. He's got a 1-4-2 earned run average. He's pitched a total of 19 innings. He's gone six innings or more in every start this year. Well, it is just a treat to watch Brandon hit. As his progress has been astounding. And he hits one up the middle when he's got a base hit to start this game. You just can't get him out right now. Nine hits in his last 11 at bats. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck it out. A lead off single and then Giants with the Strata Flores and Ruff coming up. Casey's last major league appearance was 672 days ago. Line drive left field and it's a base hit and it's up against the wall. Wilmer heading for second. Here comes the throw, a long looping throw in from Canada, the left fielder, and it's a stand up double for Wilmer Flores. Outside. That was a close one, and just off the corner at the knees. And he grounds one to the right side, a chance for two. Guillaume, the flip to Lindor, back to first, double play, side retired. 4 6 3 double play on the first pitch thrown to J.D. Davis, and Lucchese puts up a zero in the first. Beatty was off last night. He is one for eight in three games. That's pulled through the hole, a base hit for Beatty. Canada second. He'll pull in there as Yastrzemski gets to it quickly. There's a little tapper up the third base side and fair ground. Out to get it is Bart. He spins around, fires to first in time for the out. So here's Guillaume, RBI chance, second and third, two outs. Line the other way, base hit for Guillaume. And the score is Canna. Beatty will be stopped at third. Luis Guillaume with a two out RBI hit, and the Mets jump in front, one nothing. Guillaume is not a home run hitter. And don't try to pull and hit home runs. Stay within yourself. Well done. And a bouncing ball up the middle. And VR with a nice play going to his right to get the out. One nothing, New York. Bart leads off first with two outs, the 2 2. And Ramos strikes out on the churve. There's the first strikeout for Joey Lucchese in his return from Tommy John surgery, and he's got two scoreless innings. Which hitter from the left side? The one-two. Lindor strikes out swinging. Slider, 88 miles an hour, right on the inside and up a little bit. One-two. That is strike three call right there on the outside. Alonzo didn't think so, but that was definitely a strike. Di Scavani has struck him out both times in these first three innings. Darren Ruff leads off against Joey Lucchese in the bottom of the fourth. And he lines one right at the shortstop as Ruff lines out one away. Casey delivers and the fastball on the outside corner. He paints the black to get J.D. Davis looking for his second strikeout. And the Churves struck him out. One, two, three inning for Joey Lucchese with a couple of strikeouts. Nemo and Lindor to follow for the Mets in the fifth against Di Sclafani. And Lou Guillaume's got his second hit of the night. A line drive into center field, and the Mets get the leadoff man on in the fifth. So now Nimmo drops down a bunt. Off the mound comes Di Scofani, and the play at first is close, but he's out. One to three, moving Guillaume up to second. That is a big runner at second base. One nothing Mets, top of the fifth. And the check swing, it rolls in front of the plate. Bart pounces on it, and the throw hits the runner and goes down the line, and that'll enable Guillaume to score. McNeil did not appear to be outside the running lane when that ball hit him. The Mets get a break and get a single and an E2 and lead two to nothing. So now Alonzo. Pete hits one in the air to center field. That's deep. That goes wisely back near the wall, and it's out of here. Pete Alonzo strikes again. His 10th home run of the year. The most home runs a Met has ever had before the end of April. And it's only the 21st. It is 4-0 Mets in the top of the fifth. He's throwing strikes. He's in a rhythm. And a swing and a miss. He got him with the churn. He had Jastrzemski badly fooled. And that's three consecutive strikeouts for Lucchese and four for the night. 2-2. Two -two. And that's in there. Strike three. Call got him looking. Punches out Ramos. And he uses the churve to strike out wisely. Three strikeouts in the fifth inning. He has fanned five of the last six hitters. Joey Lucchese, 29 years old. It's in close to where he grew up. Rounded down to third. Beatty backs off. Gets the out at second. The relay by Guillaume. And they turn the double play. And the Mets turn their third double play of the night. And Ruff pulls one down to third. Beatty's got it. Plenty of time. Side retired. Six scoreless innings for Joey Lucchese. What a story he's writing tonight. Joey Lucchese is still in this game. Amazing. Who hasn't pitched in the big leagues in almost two years. Coming back from Tommy John surgery. 
And it's in there for a call strike three. Got him looking at a fastball on the inside corner. Struck him out. He goes away with a sinker for his eighth strikeout. This is a remarkable performance tonight. It's Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. Joey Lucchese for the Mets. Got him looking. Joey Lucchese strikes out the side in the seventh inning. Shoot that nobody on. Lead off man Brandon Nimmo will come up. Hits it sharply. Estrada was moving the wrong way, and it goes up the middle. That was weird. Estrada was moving to his left, and the ball was back to his right. And he lines one the other way, and he's got his first hit of the night. And the Mets have two on for McNeil. And he skips out of the way. Did it hit him? I think it did. And McNeil is hit by the pitch, and that'll load up the bases. And you have Alonzo at the plate. Bases juice, two outs, ninth inning. That's grounded toward the hole. That's going to go through for a base in. Nimmo is in. Lindor right behind him. McNeil goes to third. It's another four RBI night for Pete Alonzo, his second in a row. And the Mets now lead 6 0 in the ninth. The Mets, uh, they always want more. They're licking their chops for some more. Here's Vogel back. And that's smack to right, and that's down for a base hit. McNeil in to score the third run of the inning. Daniel Vogel back with his second hit of the night. Drives in a run to make it 7 to nothing. Boy, they are just giving the Giants the last two nights a drubbing. And a little looper into right. That's going to fall for a hit. Alonzo will be held at third. That's the fifth hit of the inning. And the bases are loaded again for Brett Beatty. Swing, and it's a high pop-up. Second baseman VR waiting for it, and he's got it near the edge of the outfield grass. The Mets get three runs and leave the bases loaded. All of this starting with two down and nobody on base. And now the Giants seeing a right-hand pitcher for the first time tonight. One-two from Hunter. On the outside corner, got him looking. One down in the ninth. Rounded down to third. Right behind the bag, Beatty with a long throw to make, and a high throw, but Alonzo comes off and tags Wilmer for the second out. Line drive, center field, Nimmo is there, and the ball game is over. Tommy Hunter gets the final three outs, putting a bow on a brilliant comeback by Joey Lucchese. After Tommy John's surgery, he throws seven brilliant innings, 